G'day and welcome back for more Space Engineers. This week, we've gotten the heavy industry update. And this has led me to one question. Despite all of the nice, pretty things we've gained, like the armor plates, the new hydrogen thrusters, the new hydrogen tanks, the new cargo containers, the button panels, the... I'm sure there's other things I'm missing. They pale into insignificance next to the most important question of all. And that is... To pee or not to pee? That is the question. Whether the engineer should suffer the slings and arrows of hilarious clang, or to take arms against a key of troubles. This key, this P, has been the bane of my existence for many, many, many years. And that is why I did a big rant against it in my initial tutorial. The P shortcut and the Y shortcut, by default in Space Engineers, are a bit of a... they're not ideal. They can cause some problems. And they cause problems in scenarios like this, where you've got a large grid vehicle with some smaller vehicles attached. And when you go and use P instead of using individual parking brakes for the wheels or individual lock unlock commands for things like your landing gear and your connectors, you end up with a situation where instead of being able to, well, control deliberately what you're doing, you kind of are left at the whims of whatever the game decides. And usually, that ends poorly. So, Keen decided to try and make this shortcut useful for us again. And I think maybe they kind of have? Maybe. Sort of. Critical. I'm not convinced. I, I can still see problems, but it's certainly better than it was. So, Let's take a look at what the default behaviours of P are. I'm going to go up to the cockpit of my big ship here, my big vehicle, and I'm going to see what happens to this connector when I press P to unlock and start driving away. So here we go, I've got a camera view of my hangar, and I'm going to press P and see what happens. And as before, we lose our vehicle. <laughs> because the connector unlocks at the same time that the wheels parking brakes come off, that's not exactly ideal. What we really want is the ability to control these things specifically. And that's why I've always recommended players do things like adding the flight seat with handbrake on and off, and having the connector as a separate command on your hotbar, so that you can control each thing when you just want to control it. Conveniently, Keen have actually left us that functionality still in. They haven't changed any of that, all of that still works exactly as it did before. This control on my hotbar, this control on my hotbar that says handbrake on and off, is only for my wheels. Just like it always was. But there's a new one you can add. There's a new one you can use which will behave the same as the P key shortcut. And that is park on and off. So if you're someone who wants to use the P key, if you want to use that shortcut, you can now set it up to function in a different way to how it used to. Instead of it controlling whatever it felt like, you can now tell it what it can and cannot control. If we look in here and we go to our connector, there is now an option to use for parking. This will enable and disable this connector from using P or if you use the park unpark command with your command seat in your hotbar. That's kind of cool. So that means I can set up my ships so that there is a just press P, I'm done, I'm locked. All the things I need to lock are done. So you could do that with a group and have, you know, all the necessary things as a park group and an unpark group. You could do that before, but now we can actually just use a key on our keyboard. So I guess that's kind of nice. Fuel I think that's critical. Not kind of nice. Is that the default behavior for connectors? Is to lock and unlock with P. So if you're someone who uses P and who wants to use it, you're still going to be prone to having mistakes like the chomper flying off the back because the default behavior will be for that to happen. 
This new function is the same for our new landing gear alternatives like this large plate, the small plate, and the regular old landing gear. We have a look in here. Landing gear used for parking. Magnetic plate used for parking, used for parking. So if you've got setups that you want to use P4, by all means do now. Because now we can control it. There's another key that's always been a bit not great in Space Engineers. It's not as bad as P, although it could be. And that's Y. Why is Y bad? Y is bad because in the past, if I did something like what I'm about to do here, and no, I don't mean trying to jump onto a ramp that's halfway up a hill. What I mean is, what happens if I connect up here? And then I press Y. No fuel. I've turned off just my ship. I can press Y and I can turn it back on. Keen changed two things with how this behaves. In the past, when you would press Y, all the connected grids would turn off. That's real bad. <laughs> that can be really, really bad, especially if you turn off a grid that only has remote control access because then you need a control panel to be able to turn it on, and it all just becomes a big rigmarole, and it, yeah, it's annoying. You can still get that behavior if you want it for some reason by pressing control plus Y. And now everything is off. But I'm still connected. Fuel critical. And that's because now connectors will hook up and connect whether power is there or not. And this... This is a really good change, in my opinion. Although it was kind of interesting and fun to engineer solutions around trying to power up grids that had lost their power and, you know, using hydrogen engines and batteries that you've just built onto it, that sort of thing, to jumpstart them. Being able to drive a recovery vehicle out, hook up to the connector, pass some charge across, I think that's better. Now we don't have to use rotors and things like that and tricks to get around it. We can just use our connectors and I, I genuinely like this change. I think this is a really big improvement to the usability of Space Engineers as a whole. I can't think of a reason why you would press Control plus Y, but I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know of a reason why they would need to turn off every single connected grid <laughs> that they're sitting in. Um, I suppose one reason might be if you've got a bug and you want to try and see if it'll be fixed with power cycling, which, you know, Fuel this is critical. Space Engineers. Sometimes that fixes things. Sometimes that'll get your engines going, and that can be kind of nice. Though enough about P and Y. There is something genuinely amazing that Keen have finally fixed in this patch. It's something that's allowing me to do what I am doing right now. Those of you who have ever tried to fly a ship in gravity with multiple subgrids or even just one subgrid would know that often the inertial dampeners just don't work. You'll be drifting down and that becomes a problem. And it's a really irritating one because it means you can't do a lot of things that you'd like to do, like creating a carrying ship with a massive load to lift on it. <laughs> like what I've done here, which is a ship that's got a rover attached, which has multiple subgrids because it's got wheels, and <laughs> a rope of hinges. So let's grab our advanced rotor. Let's turn it on. Uh, we might need it to go a bit faster. So we can now winch this in, <laughs> and I'm hovering here, and it's fine. It, it's not a problem. This works. I can fly. This is crazy. This is amazing. Like, this is... I really need to turn off that rotor because this is going to cause me to crash in a second. Like, look at this. Look at the mess that I've just created and yet I can fly. I can actually do these things now. This opens up so many possibilities of flying motherships in gravity and it is amazing. Like, there are things to be excited about in terms of big gameplay changes that we want with the coming warfare updates and all that sort of stuff. But this, this sort of bug fixing, which, yeah, it's bug fixing, so perhaps it should have worked all along, but still, it's been fixed. 
<laughs> this is... This is... Like, up there with wheels don't pop anymore. <laughs> this makes me really happy, as you can probably tell. So yeah. That's kind of my opinions on some of the bigger gameplay changes. Some of the little quality of life things that have happened with this update. I'm sure over the coming months, and probably longer, I'm going to start making a lot of use of these extra decorative pieces that we've got access to. I am very much looking forward to these hydrogen tanks and the pipes here because I am returning to Survival Impossible very, very soon. And these are going to be perfect for my little hydrogen base there. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I, and probably P, will see you then.